Hi, I'm Chris Carrier, marketing New Island Marketing Manager for Precision Farming or PLM. So the big thing for us is uh, we're starting to continue to enhance our PLM Connect system. Uh, a year ago, uh, we started out with uh, with really introducing our advanced PLM Connect uh, telematics package, which helped optimize the machines and the fleets uh, in the field. But now we're we're going past that into helping uh, producers start to transfer and, and uh, use their agronomic data uh, using this system. Uh, you know, historically there's been a lot of data collected uh, on the machines, but it's been a cumbersome process to actually use that data or get any value from it because it's always had to be transferred manually using a USB stick or a data card. With PLM Connect now, we can actually use the cloud to wirelessly transmit that data and get the data from the machine back to the farm office or if the farmer chooses get that data to their crop consultant uh, and do it wirelessly through the cloud. The crop consultant can take the data, put their algorithms to it or modeling, give back the producer a variable rate prescription, uh, put it back into their cloud and then they can wirelessly send that prescription back to the equipment ready to start uh, planting or spraying or whatever application uh, that they're using. So we're, we're evolving PLM Connect and making it where it's easier for our producers to start using their data and getting value from that data. And we're gonna take it another step forward uh, going into 2016 with a new API. And using this API, they'll be able to exchange data directly with different service providers. And I can show you a demo of how that will work. As we start continue to evolve PLM Connect, uh, it'll come into our My New Holland community. And within this community, it'll be a tool for you know, managing the equipment as well as managing uh, managing data, and through this uh, uh, through uh, through the API that we'll have out for uh, for 2016, our producers will actually be able to go in and select from a menu of service providers, and on that menu of service providers, they can start to directly exchange data, and if that service provider say comes back and gives them a variable rate uh, prescription to use, they could go back in there preview that prescription and then if that's what they, they want for the equipment they could actually go in select the piece of equipment they want to send that prescription to and then send it directly uh, to the piece of equipment and it'll sync up downloading the display and the operators ready to start planting or if it was a sprayer ready to start spraying uh, in the field so it's all about making it easier uh, and helping our, our producers get value from their data. The other big piece of what we're doing with PLM, so we've got the data transfer with PLM Connect, but also we're, we're starting to do more and more with automation, and we're going to that next step of ISOBUS. So when we've talked about ISOBUS in the past, it's primarily been what we call Class II ISOBUS, and that's where the tractor or piece of equipment can send a command back to the implement. So a lot of times we're talking about planters or um, and it's maybe telling it to turn off a section or uh, vary the application rate. But now we're moving into a realm of automation and using class 3 ISOBUS where the implement can start communicating back with the tractor or whatever is pulling it and you have that two-way uh, communication. So the first step for us, and this is something very unique in the industry, is we're now having automation with our tractor and big balers. So our T7 CVT tractors and our big balers for model year 16 will be able to have this interaction, this two-way communication, and the baler can now start to control the tractor when it's baling. So it can now control the speed of the tractor according to the changes in the wind row. So as the wind row gets you know, bigger, it's going to slow the tractor down and as it gets thinner, it'll speed it up so you have an optimal feed rate going into the bale chamber. You can also choose a slice control mode in here and it'll control the tractor speed so that there's an even number of slices or a predefined number of slices in every single bale and you get that consistency. So, um, you know, this is really the, the first step, the first stage for us, but it's something that's, uh, you know, very innovative, it's new, it helps the productivity and it's going to lead to just more and more automation uh, as we start to go forward with PLM. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.